Don't worry about it. Yeah, Anyhow, we are gonna hop into. Uh, we're gonna hop Vivi. into this match. Vivi is back on. Versus Ben 99 hailing all the way from Long Island. And right off the bat, like you see, Ben trying to look for something with those sails. Look for he's calling out jumps from Vivi. He's already just wanted to end this. <laughs> he's like, just, he bad. He's got the losers. Like I'm just gonna end this guy mad early. Mm -hmm. And like Lady Luigi, you see him at 75% a significant stock, like a significant percent disadvantage compared to Vivi. Yeah, uh, the, the, okay, I was about to say the tags needed to be switched. Um, anyway, yeah. Vivi with a, a, a good lead right now, having uh, 999 at uh, 885%. And right now, like you see, like Ben, like Ben isn't committing to anything too hard, but then he started something with the drop down Zero into dash attack, trying to maybe lead a drop down or uh, bait a get-up attack with those down tilts, and this is where Luigi's advantage state comes in, unable to mm -hmm. connect the final forwarder into the string. He's throwing out a sizzle of missing. And I love, actually, his usage of the zone. That's showing off a little bit of his matchup experience. Oh, but a jab lock! Wow, that was really, really beautiful, but if you notice, like, a lot of what Ben is doing is, like, like, uh, Hugo is, like, known for a lot of his projectiles, right? Mm -hmm. So by throwing out that Zell, he's either neutralizing them effectively, or he's just stopping them short and making sure that they won't be able to touch Luigi. Mm -hmm. Um, and that Zell is yeah. not a hitbox. It's not, not a projectile, rather. It's just a falling hitbox. So of oh, course, that's not a projectile? Mm -mm. Oh, so, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, of course. It Vivi really good at getting those uh, psych up up airs, up yep. throws when he gets the chance. Mm -hmm. um, and you know the up throw with Oomph, I believe, will kill as early as like 120 or so. Uh, so it's a very, very, very consistent kill throw, especially considering it's an up throw. It will kill at any point on the stage. It doesn't even have to be positioned like a back throw mm -hmm. or forward throw. And so, ooh, Ben getting the win box, but still unable to connect the final hits and getting a little, little some some sudden with. Oh. Um, with those strings, Vivi trying to end it all again with the thwack and not being able to connect it. Ben shielding on time appropriately. Obviously, now he's catching him when he's throwing out those uh, those plungers. Okay. Now, see, Vivi is really good when it comes to rolling with the uh, the downbeat. He just gets the spells that matters. He mostly <laughs> he mostly looks for the buffs. Like he doesn't look for the crazy stuff. Like he'll he'll get the sizzle and I'll get kaboom, but he goes for what really matters. But not just that, like I really love the fact that Vivi is able to prime his reaction where he knows at any given moment it's like, if I don't get this, I should be looking for this. Mm, right? And yeah. having those exact words in your mind on such like a quick notice is very, very, very difficult. But it's a good Oh, he's gonna look for that zoom though. Ooh, he almost got the lead with the down B. It's not a good, it's more of a prediction. Um but he almost got it with the down B, but unfortunately Vivi coming through on the center stage. Right now, he has all the stage control he wants. Luigi has to find a way to get back on. Now, I'm questioning why he healed there. Did he heal? Oh, no, that's a missing foot. I feel like that's a missing foot because you don't really see Vivi going for Magic Burst that much. Or maybe he just thought that Ben was going to run in on him. But honestly, there isn't anything that Ben can do. He just has to respect it happening. And just let yeah, him he does. Well, and I'm surprised that he had enough MP to up you right there. Yeah, he just had a little bit in the tank left. But... Oh, that's unfortunate. He... He managed to get out of the way of the forward smash. Ooh, and he missed the punish on the upbeat, and he'd be able to get the f to close off the stock. Right now, Ben can do just about anything to close this off. He can do a back he can do a down B, and I am surprised to see that he wasn't going for any upbeat tech chases this entire set so far. But regardless, that was scary. That yeah, was really, really that scary. That was pretty scary. Yeah. Because if he, if he would have critted, he would have killed him. Yep. Yep, and that's gonna be wow. No, not dead yet. He's gonna though. get a he's gonna get a free ride back to the stage. And right now, like Ben is just scrambling to find any way to kill him. I'm pretty sure he just do that out just to get rid of the menu, just to get a quick hit off of him. Gonna get a fourth throw. Anyway, now Ben is just gonna be coming back to stage, uh -huh. not getting the flame smash that would have connected. He neutral got up there, I believe. It. Maybe he was even a little too far back. Yeah. And that's the thing. But I that could have gone either way, though. He man, he, he hocus pocus that flame flash. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, oh wow, that was like oh. a really, really great roll up smash on the whip. I think Luigi might be able to actually get hit by the snooze if he's still hanging on. So he has to be really, really attentive, and he just has to know that he's not safe if he hangs on. Indeed, yeah. Um, right now Luigi coming back to stage. I'm surprised that you don't see Vivi going through the edge guard. Instead, choosing nah, to set up with a couple of buffs. Himself up. Right now, Vivi can kill from just about anything. You just see him landing with these aerials just because he knows that Ben has to respect it. 
because BB will just be able to get away with them. He's gonna get him with a jab though again off stage. He's gonna get Accelerado. And that's going to be the game right there. So moving into game two, I think Ben wasn't like able to get in nearly as much as he wanted to. He just needs to find more openings. He needs to find more so that Luigi can do what Luigi does best, and that's comboing off of grab and just getting as many uh, strings along as possible. Yeah, I kind of feel like this is very hard for Luigi to get in, especially with Hero's disjoints and his projectiles and whatever uh, whatever he's throwing out from the downbeat. I mean, once Luigi gets the grab that he needs and uh, you know gets the the, uh, the combo percentage off, he's pretty good. But the thing is, he kind of does have to get an early kill yeah. with his combos. Um, and you're gonna see Vivi obviously sticking to Hero, not even wanting to switch to Lucario. So there's no reason to. If you won Game One, there almost is never a reason to switch. Now, I mean, like they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yep. <laughs> um, <laughs> But moving on, they're going into Smash Roll, and this is going to be a much better stage for Luigi, in my opinion. Just oh, yes. because um, it's small, Hugo doesn't have nearly nearly as much space to run away and do what Hugo wants to do. And ooh, Ben looking for those grabs, but unable to get them quite yet. Yeah, I mean, sure, the, the, the lack of space will work in Ben's favor, but I think it could also work in Vivi's favor as well. But he has to throw out, he has to throw out his aerials a little bit earlier. Ooh. And I'm surprised that the secondary hitbox was still able to hit him. The windbox on is massive, and he got the crit F smash tipper, and that was not enough to break his shield. Um, he keeps seeing Vivi go through those blocks, and honestly, the opponent kind of has to respect him for the most part. Not much he else. He does. Especially how big, especially how big uh, the wax hitbox is. And considering the fact that Ben is sitting at 95%, yep. you know, he, he is sitting at death's door. Right now, Luigi dashing back and forth. Luigi is obviously looking for something here, maybe a back air, but ah, still unable to get the grab. I feel like Ben has to be a little bit more careful when committing to them because Ooh. Vivi has been with punishing him a lot. Great uh, retort with a nail, I believe, he dropped down with. Wow. Good read there. Mm -hmm. And honestly, like, Ben. <laughs> Like, a lot of Luigi's game plan is focused around either his Zell or his uh, grab. That's where he's going to get everything off of. And yeah. there is no reason to start, like, jumping into Vivi's airspace because he can get up-tilted for it. So I like the fact that Ben... This, is, this doesn't seem so good for Luigi. It just seems, like, very, very difficult. And, and it always will be difficult for Luigi. Uh, and you see, like, Ben, like, that was maybe a little bit of a panicky air dodge there. He could have just showed how far that maybe he wasn't completely confident. Uh, and I believe when he hit his shield right there, the crit hitbox came out. Mm -hmm. Well, rather, maybe he was just typically... Okay, regardless, this is really, really scary for Vivi, but he was unable to get the full, um, the full zero to death combo. Still 52%, nothing to sneeze at at all, especially after one grab. Getting some good damage out of breaking him out of the ice, but he is now sitting at 128. Good patience from Ben, waiting for the whack to just pass him by. And right now, this is oh, I love the fact that he's using those new. That was a good. That was a good bang right there. Mm -hmm. Because it would counter the bang, it would counter the other projectiles. <gasps> Ooh. So okay, that was a little <laughs> bit scary. It's good that he backed away in time, because otherwise that would have effectively spelled the shield break. Not sure if that might have spaced properly, but Hilo is a Hilo's sword does reach a little bit. Oh, further. Man, gonna get him with the Yep. Ben, like, finally making use of that really, really amazing option with the Kaboom just sucking him right back in. And this has become an even game once again, is what I would say had Vivi not been in possession of multiple, or just maybe just a single buff right now, that he already used up by landing on Vivi's on uh, Ben's shield. And right now, Ben, he's, he's dashing back and forth. He really, really wants that grab. Then choosing to throw that option away by just going for an aerial, which is very, very respectable, knowing it's not gonna work now. I just have to go for literally anything else. <gasps> and now we see Vivi finally committing off stage, getting yeah. those buffs. Those I buffs giving him the confidence to go off stage yep. and go for an edge guard like that. Wow! Ooh, but that's not quite enough not to yet. kill him yet. He's saving his jump, still able to get back on. Oh, dodging back, maybe a little bit again of panic even option, but still able to get away with it. The dash attack being stuffed out by the nail. Oh, he's gonna kill him with bank? Yeah. Yes, he will. <laughs> <laughs> he forgot it was a best of five. <laughs> 
Is it? Is yeah. Lucy's best is, uh, of five? This is Lucy's top 12. Yeah, huh. Lucy's best 12. Uh, yeah, yeah, all yeah. top 12 is best of five. Uh, ben, really, ben really thought it was over for them. No, he, 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 he's getting thrown right back into the mix. It's, <laughs> it's, not over, it's not over until the numbers has it over. But Ben is finally like starting to catch on. I admire his ability to not get hit by a single whack, not a single whack, not a single snooze, which can clean up your stocks a lot earlier. So great awareness on Ben's part. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I feel like I could try and bring this back, but it's not going to be an easy climb. Two, one, go. Right, bring it back to PS2. Right he's, off already, the bat. he's already setting himself up. What? A. Oh, oh, that's unfortunate. He could have had an early, early kill right there. Had BB got to that block, I would have maybe dropped my commentary. And again, his <laughs> jump into being called out by Kaboom, which is so good against Luigi, considering I think he has one of the worst air speeds in the game. Yeah, definitely one of the worst. Going him off stage row. right now. <gasps> Ooh, was he? I think he was trying to go for a down beat there, but uh, mm -hmm. Vivi stuffed him out really quickly. He stuffed him out quickly with up beat. Yep. Very interesting use of up beat to stuff him out. It's just like a high recovery mixture. Uh oh, and he is oh. stuck. Great, uh, like awareness right. from Vivi. He used his psych up there on it. down tilts. Clanging with the uh, with the plunger. Great right back here. Pushing oh, him no. off. And that boy would almost kill from across the stage like that, which is absolutely not even considered. And he goes for the zoom again, but Ben is just getting free stage control for it. Just being able to jump out. Um, and the up tilt almost secured it, but not quite yet. Had he been buffed at that moment, that would have certainly been it. But right now, Ben is shooting out those neutral bees. Yeah, now he's just trying to zone him out. Ooh, overcommitted to the Zelda. though. Um, which is really, really unfortunate getting hit for it. Oh, he, was try he was trying to catch a tech roll. Mm -hmm. Which is fine. It's a normal is, commitment. That's honorable indeed. And oh, but he's going to kill him there. Into down beat, and that is what Ben is looking for. Yeah. That's what BB has to always be playing out of range for. Like, just to run up up tilt more than enough to take him, especially with those buffs. Yeah. And right now, Ben is once again looking to get something started with those grabs, maybe. And BB here, much, I think that's a lot better for him overall, just to choose to go for those buffs than to snooze. One, Indeed. ah, missing the nail afterwards. Yeah. He drifted the wrong way a little yeah. bit. But that's what I say about BB's playstyle. He goes for, he, that's the main spells that he prioritizes, are those buffs. Catches him with the, with the, uh, the side beat. Oh, Ooh, great pull, use of the pulling shield. Him in. Pulling him Sucked in with the couple. Up. And this is like for the first time in the set, I would say an even game, but now Ben has no stage control, now he has to recover. Yay! Yeah. F smash to punish the whip grab. And suddenly the set game is now in Ben's favor for the first time in the entire set. This is really, oh, really he's scary gonna get, for he's me. Gonna get this combo this and time. he no. missed the falling up air. Like, and you just see from like Ben's play, this isn't him necessarily being spammy or can't be, just that Luigi has a very set game plan of I get everything off of Zero, I get everything off of Grub, and I'm going to space myself and just catch you on your mistakes. Yeah. And that's just the way the cookie crumbles, there's yeah. nothing you can do about it. Yep, he's just doing what he has to do, and he's doing it in a situation that's very unfavorable. Oh, he, he's just trying to chase him down, I think I was going to try and end him with an upbeat, mm -hmm. but... but uh, Vivi got oh, out of the way. Missing the downfield up B in that case. And he tried to mash out down B, but Vivi's so patient under that pressure, just ready to whip punish him for it. <gasps> and right now, this is really, really, really scary for Vivi, because one straight up B can kill him, but if Ban is knocked off stage, who knows how early he could lose his stock here. I love the patience for Ben. He knows that Luigi can't go in on Vivi right now. Ooh. Oh, but he, but now, but unfortunately, he was giving him time to get the buffs that he needed. I mean, it's kind of sad when you really can't play that aggressively against uh, Vivi's hero. Yeah. Because you just really want him. You just really want to get in his face so that way he doesn't have the opportunity. That's but he does get it. the jab block. Yes. Into the OG. That was really, really great on that fight, and that's what he was going in with those dashing jabs every single time he would like do one instead of trying to get like a one and three tech chase mm -hmm. all he does is just like go for the jab because it's, it's non-committal and yeah. he can still react to the tech rolls out that's true yeah he can still do that um, so ben staying alive here in yeah. in this loser's top 12 set mm -hmm. um maybe going 
I don't know how else he can find these openings on Vivi because it just seems so difficult for Luigi. Obviously, going to a you know going to the stage that going to the stage that they did certainly helped, but yeah. Um, I mean, right now they're going right back to PS2. And we are seeing the switch from Vivi. He's going to just try to true Lucario. He doesn't want to risk anymore. He doesn't want to lose another game. He's just like thinking, you know what? Nah. Let me just do what I'm most comfortable with yeah. and just see how it goes. Yeah. Like I said earlier, like, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But yep. it got broken in game, in game three. But now it's just go back to, you know, old reliable, and that would be Lucario. Yep. Ooh, and getting so confronting that grab just by a little bit with the spot dodge. Not able to get too much of a punish off of it. Luigi and Lucario trading. Adam, he tripped him within there. I don't know if he was expecting that, though. And that's something that Luigi can do against Lucario that he can't really do against Hero in the close range. Like, he can just box with him, right? He doesn't have those disjoints to worry about. He can kind of nail through a lot of his stuff, especially since Lucario is a bit of a follow-up based character. I like Vivi. He's throwing out these hitboxes just to, uh, you know, make Ben go away from him. Mm -hmm. Landing with a back hill on BB Shield, not necessarily the best idea. I don't believe back hill is too safe, but maybe he just misspaced it. Um, uh, the car is back here? Um, uh, oh, sorry, Luigi. Luigi, Luigi's back here. Yeah, I don't, know if, I don't know if it's that safe. I don't think it is. And he uh, and catches, him up smash. catches him above him with the up smash. And uh, Ben's actually really sitting in a good situation right now. He is at 76%. Wait. Okay, up, grab. On floating characters, it's a little bit more difficult, so he goes to uh, up through the more up air based conversions after the grab and zero. Regardless, he racked up 66% in such oh, a short... Uh, off of one combo. But that's just that's just adding fuel to the fire, though. Yep. All right, now, Evie just is like trying to dance around him, maybe get a little something started, but which is a little bit difficult considering the Lucario's approach options are limited in the fully charged aura sphere. Not, Not enough. enough. Not enough, yeah. Good DI from Ben. Again, like, if he is ready to catch in those jump pins with the dash attack, so those all the spheres aren't really wasted because they're just catching and positioning. And there, he was conditioning him to jump, but Ben staying one step ahead and circumventing the back end. Oh, but he's gonna catch him that yep. time, though. Again, any, any little opening that VV has to charge up Aura Sphere, he is gonna take it. Ooh, and right now, like, once again, like, trading with a lot of, like, Lucario CQC stuff. That's what Luigi was known for in Smash 4. His nail was ridiculously fast and was able to just... And the down throw, and I love the DI from Vivi. Also, that helps the fact that he's quite floaty, because otherwise that would have been a down B and surely the end of his stock right now and there. And Vivi just doing a great job of playing patiently, shooting an Aura Sphere, catching Ben on those whips. Ooh. Oh, he almost got—he almost got hit there by that aura sphere. <laughs> and right now, ooh, Ben is just like jumping into these spheres. He needs to slow down his gameplay and position himself so that he can react to them and not be hit by them. But oh, he's gonna catch him with the up smash again. Mm -hmm. Vivi's been jumping in a lot, especially at those high percents. So Ben's like, you know what? I'm gonna run up and up smash, and it worked out for him the first stock and worked out for him the second stock yeah. exactly the same way. And I think Ben's realizing is that when he's when VV gets above him, he's not attacking him with the with down air. So when he sees that opportunity, he's just gonna throw the up smash out. Thirty-three percent, nothing to sneeze over. But I feel like the platform might have interrupted a lot of what he wanted to go for there. Ooh, I love that for Ben. He's just not gonna respect the fact that Lucario charged the neutral, be on a shield, able to retort with a forward air. Yeah, it's just something that you don't really expect from Lucario, but that's one thing you gotta respect from Vivi's Lucario. The fact that he will always apply shield pressure yep. with reverse charge aura sphere. And right now, like 61% is not too much of a significant lead for Bed Kill as Lucario is like closing it in slowly and slowly. Um but honestly, one good up B could post the end of uh, a lot of what Vivi is going for and he like, falls out of it. Out. Wow. There's no way that's the uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Questionable DI, but still not enough to take it quite yet. Yeah, he he almost made that that uh, that look convincing. Mm -hmm. 
And right now he's going to try to catch a landing with a dash attack rather than committing to an up smash. Maybe just trying to reassert his stage control with that. Regardless, he got away with it even despite the fact oh, that he went. catch up again with up smash. Mm -hmm. And now Ben making this an even set. 2 2 going into game five. Wow, like it's really crazy to see that this is indeed going to game five considering just like the difference in momentum. Like game one, it seemed like Vivi was all, uh, well, it's all over him. But now, this is a completely different scenario here. Yeah, I mean, Ben was able to uh, beat Vivi's hero in game three. And even when Vivi made the switch to Lucario, he still stayed it. Yep. So my question is now is where is Vivi going to go from here? I mean, I know he has, I mean, I, definitely his strong characters are Lucario and Hero. Yep. But he does have other characters under his sleeve, but he probably hasn't, you know, uh, he really hasn't probably been playing yep. with like Mewtwo and uh, I forgot the other one that he has. He, has a, he also has an Incineroar, but I don't think he's going to use Incineroar against that. But. And right now they're going to get to Town and City. This is a very, very interesting stage choice. Um, I don't think this is, ooh, and he's going he's back going with back the hero. To hero. This is so good for Hero because, like, if he gets up B, he might live a little bit longer considering the ceiling on Town and City, and Hero is just able to dance around the platforms at such a big stage. That is true. I feel like this stage is, like, deceptively big, but that, that high ceiling, though. And Smash 4 went from one of the smallest to now being one of the biggest. This stage yeah. is huge. Mad huge. Massive. <laughs> Thank, thank you, Devin. They made it so they took they took all the fun out of it. I am. <laughs> oh, he's gonna get him with the snooze, wow. killing him at 59 percent. And it's crazy, like the whole set, Ben was avoiding them, but the one time he didn't, he dies for it. But right now he's but what an answer battle! Wow. Brought it right back, making sure that Vivi wasn't going to take that snooze on him for free. But regardless, he's being spaced out a little bit at 56% already. Now he's landing in with those airs, making sure that Vivi can't shoot out those projectiles. He has to be careful with those jump ins, especially considering his really predictable air drift, so that Vivi can anti air him really easily. He's going to catch him in the air with Kaboom. Basically, he's using Kaboom from Vivi. Yeah. Right now, he has to mix up his response to those projectiles. But is he going right to get him with another now, combo? He's starting. No! Uh, maybe uh. Luigi had a little, little too much rage there. But regardless. Oh my goodness. <laughs> They're definitely making this set very interesting. <laughs> this is probably the most interesting set, the most interesting game out of the whole set. Wow, just like because in the first 15 seconds, or like the first 30 seconds, we've seen so many different, like, aggressive stock exchanges uh, interchange. Um. Right now, Vivi abusing his accelerator momentum to try to catch Ben off guard by his positioning, despite the fact that he can rush at any given moment. Um, he has to look out for those projectiles at 147%. Just about anything can really do it to him. Mm -hmm. it's ah, but you see, again, Vivi giving him that confidence, you know, those those buffs, giving him the confidence to come and rush in with a forward air. Ooh, and using the sail against him uh, with a hitbox extension with uh, by landing on it with forward air. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Ooh, unfortunately, that, unfortunately that was a little anticlimactic. <laughs> on a psycho. And right now, he's, he has no he has no MP, he has 11 MP. This is the time to go in on Hugo. But Luigi is giving him a little too, uh, ben he's is giving him a little too much space. Good Parrying parry. the forward here. Mm. And that made him use up his psycho too. And we go, listen, right now, ooh. That side beach can knock Ben so far away, and he has to come oh, back. Oh, I almost caught him with the back air. Uh, he opted for down smash. <laughs> oh, he tried to go for that. Wow. Mm. <laughs> right now, Ben is just running up and shielding. He knows he doesn't want to get hit by any of these falling aerials. I won't be surprised if Vivi just tries to mix it up with a dash and grab, adapting to those shields. <gasps> that was the F smash. Mm -hmm. Or the up smash, rather. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna get him with the sizzle. No, he's not. Still living. He's still living. And now Vivi's MP is drained. I love that fact that he just didn't try to land on top of him. Did not have enough drift to go about it. The forward are not enough to take it quite yet. Uh, yeah, and good. Good. Mm -hmm. We're just walking away from him. Doesn't want to get hit by that forwarder. Uh oh. Uh oh. That looked a little close there. Great oh, reaction to that, or just like the timing on the menu. Oh no! Oh no! He. <laughs> What's happening? Oh. Just, <laughs> just hugging the blast on the entire time. <laughs> oh my god! And you what? do, uh, after all of that, he still is going to die. <gasps> right now, he has to be so careful because. He got. He... Oh no, I was about to that say. That was so smart because he stood on top of the platform, oh, he could not be no. sucked in. Wow. 
Everybody oh is happy to come out. <laughs> <laughs> we live in the unfortunate food pan, but... Uh, they, they did make that a very interesting set. Game yeah. 5. They made that um, very, very interesting. So there's actually something, uh, I think there's a really good takeaway from that. If you're on a stage and you're above a platform and they shoot Kaboom at you, you can just be on that platform and not be sucked in.